This tutorial is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your website on demand. And don't forget, subscribe for more tutorials. The question is, how do we customize our password or coming soon page in Shopify? And I'm going to show you how to do it. There's the um, kind of easy way. And then you can even go in deeper in how to customize it through some advanced um, styling. So I'm going to show you how to do it both ways. Uh, so the first way is if you go into your theme and you go to customize in your theme settings, okay? And if you hit this drop down bar right here and you go to password page, this is where it's going to show you how to change uh, a bunch of different things, uh, the wording, the font, uh, etc. As soon as it loads up here. Awesome. So this is the password uh, page right now. As you can see, uh, it does have a default password page image on the background. Um, I'm also going to show you how to change that background image. Uh, it works for most themes, changing it that way. Um, if you have a little issue, I can also give you the code on how to change it uh, manually through your SCSS file. Uh, so here's here's where you change most of the things, okay? So if we go to sections, we have our header section where we can add our logo image. If you want to add a logo, um, you can also change the, the width of the logo. So if I go uh, ex explore free images here. All right. So let's just pick anything. Uh, there we go, and I'll just click select. Awesome, so it would add your logo here. Uh, you can change the size of it if you wanted, uh, make it bigger, make it smaller, etc. cetera. Uh, so that's how you do that. If you go out of here, and then you can also go to the content section Okay, and this is where it's going to hold uh, the opening soon, um, this, this wording right here. Uh, so you can decide to show a newsletter sign up and the, the text for that. Uh, you can also change the newsletter form subheading if you'd want. Um, and you can also, if you scroll further down, uh, you can decide to have your, your social sharings on it. Uh, as well as change the newsletter placeholder text and the newsletter uh, button text as well. Okay, so you can it's it's pretty custom um, customizable through here, uh, and you can also choose to show uh, the share on Facebook, tweet on Twitter, and, and pin on Pinterest as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, so another way to do this, and if you wanted to go a little bit more in depth on how to change that, you're actually going to go into your files. Okay, uh, so you would go custom or you go to actions and you go to edit code. And I've actually, I believe I have mine pulled up here. Yeah. All right, so uh, there's a few things in here. In your, temp uh, in your templates, you have the password liquid file uh, that can be edited. And then, but the, the actual sections for the password liquid template are in sections. Uh, so you have the password content and you also have the password header. Um, and this is where you would change uh, to be more in depth on how you want to do it. Uh, so we have the opening soon text, how, you know, how that's uh, customized through your, your liquid stylings. Uh, you can add a bunch of different things here if you wanted to go more in depth on how to do that. Uh, so you you have both your password content and your password header. Okay. And then in your assets, most themes do have a password page background. And this is going to be the default background that you would see on your password page. And if you wanted to add a different background, all you would have to do is delete this file. Okay, and I've already added one here. Delete this file, add a new file to this assets, and you need to name it the exact same way 
as this, password page background. And I'm gonna show you why. If you go into your theme, SCSS, this is where all your stylings are held, okay? And if you uh, search password, it's gonna show you all the different stylings for the password page. Uh, so we have the uh, password page wrapper, okay? And we also have the password page used background image. And this is the URL that's being used uh, for the background image. So it needs to be named password page background JPG. Um, if you didn't name it that way, you can actually change it in this as well to the actual URL that you're using, okay? You can also change, you know, if it was uh, cover size, so it covers the whole screen. Um, you can change the uh, background color as well. A um, bunch of different steps. Uh, the, the color text body, that's going to follow what the uh, default text body you have in your um, theme customizer settings. Uh, so that's where all that is shown. Now, another way to do this, um, is some themes don't have this password page background. And what you're going to want to do, if I pull up uh, my password page, and you're going to see a white screen uh, right now because I, I've actually taken out the, the background image. But if we inspect this, if you uh, right-click into this and go inspect, that. And yeah, all right, if we go to inspect, this should pull up our inspector tools. Maybe not. There you go, it's being a little slow tonight, apologize about that. Um, okay, so this is where our code is. And if you go up to password page wrapper, This is the password page wrapper. This is where we would add our background image. So you can go into your SCSS file, put password page wrapper, um, and then background image, and then URL, and then where whatever the asset is, um, that's what you would put. All right, so that's how you customize your password page. Again, you can go as in-depth as you want to if you feel comfortable, customize your code with you know CSS, HTML, and the liquid. Um, or you can just do the basic stuff right, by changing the text and the colors um, that are already on the password page. Hope that helps and have a great night. So the question is, how do we customize? Please subscribe. And if you need extra help, visit askquesty.com and send us your questions.